Hey guys, welcome back to ATL QA Labs. In this session, we will uh, look uh, look at the DDL uh, commands in SQL. So, as in previous session, we have discussed uh, the different type of commands: DDL, DML, DCL, DQL. And uh, so today we will uh, go and deep dive into uh, DDL statements or DDL commands that are being used, right? So this is the very first practical session that we are going to see uh, you know practically and we will execute some of the commands and then uh, you know uh, we will uh, look every aspect from the tech uh, from the uh, practical point of view in uh, until now i think in the last two session i just tried to cover uh, the theoretical part of it uh, which are very essential to understand before you uh, you know uh, watch this session if you have not watched previous two videos please go ahead and watch them and then watch this third video all right guys so let's start then so let's uh, uh, see that what is the create right so create command so what we will do is we will try to create a table here so in in previous session we have seen what is the table so before that let me just try to create a create use the create command and create a table and then we will discuss more about it right so i have to use the keyword called create space and then keyword table and then space table name so what is the table name let's say i am putting emp right so for example in this if you look um, i have just uh, i just want to i intend to use the name of the table as emp and i want to create three columns okay one is employee number employee name and salary and then if you have all this data so so we will try to see how to create this skeleton first right all these three columns and this table name within this table right so that is what we are trying to do okay so let's go there the emp and then i have to start uh, cl start st start the bracket and then employee number what is the data type that i have to mention here uh, since employee number is always number not always number but I am considering is number sometime it can be alphanumeric but I am considering here is a number so let's say I want to use up to five digit maybe enough for employees employee name I will use maybe care alright care 20 probably 40 maybe okay and then I will use again salary salary should be again number it is obviously number right so I'll use let's say five digit salary and then at the end I will close it with a bracket and the synonym column and then I will just hit enter so it says that it's not connected let me connect to database I think is it okay it's connected guys now let's see okay before that I want to clear it clear SCR okay okay now I am hitting this command yeah so it says the table created okay if I want to see whether the table is really created and what is the structure I would like to just uh, use one command called DESC means describe your description and then table name only table name EMP this is what the name of this table here right and then I will close it with semicolon and then hit enter now you can see that uh, it is talking about the name so how many columns are there employee number employee name salary and it is also talking about what the type right so type of the column employee number is a number employee name is character and then salary is also number right that is whatever we have defined here right so it has taken properly so guys uh, this is how you can create the table uh, table name okay and uh, so this is uh, the very first one that we have covered create table command okay and then we will look at uh, alter table okay so for example in this case if uh, I need to add one more column called uh, department uh, number all right so I want four columns one more columns I want here okay so for example I want here department ID DPT ID and then I would like to put some information here also okay I think is it worth table is this I think here yeah I think this table name 
okay guys so this is department table name and then I just would like to ten put like one one two two okay okay on to that's it fine yeah okay so now let's see here it is it is it is okay so now we have department ID now we want this structure right so in my table uh, we I want to add department ID maybe I will take the number as a data type here right so I'll use the alter alter command right the second type of SQL statement right the alter I will say alter and then table keyword and then EMP all right then I will say add because I'm going to add it right add one more column so I will say add keyword and then I will say DEPT ID and then again the data type maybe I will put two yeah that's enough now if I enter table is altered now if I want to see whether this is really created new column or not I will again say describe uh, you know on the AMP table it will show you so you see guys the data type uh, sorry the date table name uh, the column name is DPT ID and then type is number and size is 2 all right we will see what is the importance of size and then you know the data type also later point of time once we start inserting the data uh, when which means when we will uh, learn about DML but for now I hope it makes sense right so we learned the second command also now here okay let me go my go to my sheet here so we learned create table and then alter table okay now third thing I want to use uh, you know mm, the truncate okay I think drop should be here okay fine now third one so let's go and see so what we do is normally if you know uh, by mistake if my you know the table name or something some any object is not correct then I would like to rename it to the correct name right so I will use the rename okay so rename let's say I have for now EMP right the table name and later I realize that uh, this is not the correct one so I will say to EMP to EMP something I will just take you know EMP one yeah I mean I feel that this is the correct name for example then I will just hit enter table renamed okay guys so now let's see okay it done now something wrong let's see okay all right here we go clear SCR now again we will go here okay so let's see if this table is really renamed EMP uh, sorry DSC EMP if I say that we should not be able to find this object right so it said the object employee does not exist okay so if I say EMP one then it should yeah so you see guys the name EMP has been renamed to EMP one right so now again I would like to rename it because it looks easy to me so from EMP1 to EMP okay this is done again clear SCR now we have covered the third one as well okay we have covered until uh, rename all right so we have remaining two commands that we need to see right so to see these two commands I think uh, I need to insert some data right so guys uh, let's see that uh, you know if we have to insert some data and uh, then after that we will look at those two commands so to insert the data uh, so this is part of DML guys I will uh, try to cover you know not try even uh, that is part of my session right so that will uh, I will cover the DML session in the later point but for now uh, just to show other two commands I need uh, to insert some data eh, in the table so I will say insert EMP uh, then I will say values this is the normal syntax yeah to insert any data so let's say I will say as per this only I will just try to uh, 10 Rames 10,001 something like that I will put okay so let me just go there 10 remains okay 
salary is 10,000 uh, okay 10,000 and then uh, employee department number one okay so what has happened some problem I'm getting insert EMP values okay insert into into I have to use the keyword into so this is the the this is the syntax yeah one record inserted I'll put the second one also what is the Ramesh and then Suresh I think yeah Suresh Suresh and then salary is 20,000 okay let me see it once so it's 20,000 one okay guys I'm just putting uh, one instead of you know the different employee number I will just put 20 here and here is 40 and doesn't matter yeah guys okay and then Rana I will put let's say Rana if his employee number is 30 let's say and then his salary is 50k let's say then his department number is 2 all right now we have to say see select star from EMP whether we have got it or not okay see we got it okay now what we will do is we will try to use the truncate command so as I said that uh, these are the two commands remaining the truncate so what truncate will do truncate will actually clear up all the data from the table okay so when I say all the data from the table um, it will actually remove when I say uh, select star from EMP I, I will not get any record after saying truncate because truncate will delete all the data but I will still be able to say DESC for example EMP then I should be able to see the this particular detail right it means the structure I should be still be able to see after truncate so let's try to run the truncate and then see what happens okay so truncate EMP truncate okay so uh, truncate and then table name table keyword uh, all the DML uh, DDL statement will have that the you know um, uh, the syntax the table you know keyword will come so truncate table EMP I say it's truncated right now if I say select star from EMP let's see if I can get I see no row selected but if I say DSC then I see the structure is still intact isn't it now guys let's see let me again put the data back okay and then again see that uh, if okay Ramesh Suresh and Rana okay now again if I say select star from EMP then I should be able to see the record yeah I got the record back again now guys uh, truncate we are done right so the, the last one is uh, drop so when I say drop drop will actually drop the table which means the structure also will be dropped which means if I say DESC imply like this EMP like this then I will not be able so it will say that you know the table or view does not exist whatever it will say the object does not exist and then this will also not will give the same on answer I mean select start from EMP when I say it will also give you that error okay because the table means the structure of the table and the data both will go okay so it's a, well, it's a drop and then table name means table keyword and then EMP table name okay run it table dropped okay now let me try to see if I can still get the data EMP you say that table or view does not exist okay guys similarly if I see say DESC same thing right object EMP does not exist guys so this is what it is right so this is um, this is all about uh, DDL statements we covered create alter remove rename truncate and drop all those five different uh, DDL statement DDL commands we have covered and hope this is very easy for you to understand I have tried to you know give a very simple example here and uh, hope this will clarify your doubts and uh, guys when we talk about DDL we are always talking about a structure everywhere right so we are not talking about inside data except you know deleting the data using the truncate command in, in, in truncate command we are deleting data but not the structure otherwise everywhere even in create we dealt with you know uh, we created the structure of the table means columns names alter also we added the column name 
and then uh, rename also be uh, renamed the name of that particular table that is again you know uh, the structure of it isn't it so in ddl we always deal with structure of the table uh, and uh, in the next session we will see uh, how to deal with and what are the different commands for the ddl uh, ddl statement right so ddl commands uh, ddl uh, type of command okay uh, sorry dml type of command so I think uh, these are all uh, that I wanted to cover as part of uh, DDL statement, DDL command. Oh, guys, uh, please, um, you know, uh, subscribe my channel and support me so that I can bring you more and more videos. And uh, also, it is very important that if you do not understand any of the concepts that I have covered here, please uh, comment. Comment down on my video, then I will be able to take it up and then... Uh, able to help you uh, with that right so for now i think uh, thank you guys uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you with the next video until then happy learning